what's up guys and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is unique and the channel name is nana Mensa unique if you're new to the channel make sure you go ahead and subscribe and like this video before we even start yeah because today i've got a special guest here with me today and uh, he's a very special friend of mine he's been my friend for a very very long time and yeah you know what let me not talk too much i will let him introduce himself uh, my name is godwell and yes i've been friends with unique for some time now and yeah we're really good friends and it's nice to be here and i'm excited to you know join my man you know do his thing and you know support his thing so yeah um, thank you for having me okay um so welcome to my channel um let me get straight into it today we're talking about how you basically went from <laughs> a very nasty person when you got angry to almost like barely getting angry now yeah like how you got your anger under control so basically our friend m chick messaged me last night and he said um god will has gone really like you know like quiet now he's more like calm like he barely gets angry and stuff like that so and i realized yeah that's actually true like you barely even get angry now you do not I've, i haven't seen you angry in a long time actually like years in years i'm talking years yeah so i just want to know like what happened also m chick mentioned one specific incident that happened in jhs if you could tell me that story i would be actually very happy to hear that um okay so <laughs> a lot of things happen between me and mj kid because obviously he's my friend and you know like when you're friends a lot of stuff happen like there's ups and downs and yeah i think today we're talking about my anger problems so you know let me just go straight to that specific event that i'm sure he is talking about so i used to get angry at m chick a lot yeah it's not it's not new like in every friendship you know like there's that one person that likes to you know tease and stuff like that and m chick is that guy and he would just tease me like all the time and because i was i i don't know i i, I just whenever i go angry it was really crazy because it's like I go from the quiet person that I am to, like, doing the maddest, like, the maddest things, you know. So, there was one time, I think we were in class. This was in Ghana, obviously. And we were just sitting in class, like, there was an English teacher there. And M. Chick must have told the teacher that I said I couldn't spell something. <laughs> Because he knows that I don't really like talking in class, in it? Like, when the teachers that I don't like to talk. So, he just used that opportunity to, you know, like, piss me off, in it? And he he done it the first time. I was like, you know what? Like, do not do that. I don't like that, in it? And then he 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 was just laughing, in it? And then he just, like, continued doing it. So, for the third time, I got really angry. And, you know, um, I basically stabbed his hand like here his hand in between these two fingers i stabbed him here with a pen and yeah that was when i realized like yeah i really need to sort myself out and calm down because before i realized my anger could you know let me do something like really mad in it and then i'll regret it like later on and that was the thing that happened actually like it's just you know like i'll get angry and then after um the anger let's say if there's someone that i fight or whatever even after you know maybe being the person because i've never lost a fight and you know like when we were younger i'll get into a fight and this you're not being me because if you piss me off you've pissed me off and it just gets crazy so you know i realized that you know what maybe i should just you know get my my anger under control because it's not i'm not proud of it you know it's kind of like a weakness for me so i just wanted to you know work on it and then be a better person really so yeah that's what happened and that's the event that he 
was probably talking about because he got stabbed like in between his fingers and it wasn't like just a minor cut it really went like deep into his flesh like yeah and from there i just i just wanted to you know just change anyways like i never spoke to about about it to like anyone or whatever but i just thought you know what i think i just need to sort myself out and just become a better person because i can't keep you know like being angry at my friend to the extent where i actually do that to them you know and it wasn't intentional it was just because i was angry so it's better to you know get my anger under control and then you know just be a better person basically so what do you think like really helped you you know like get your anger under control like how did you start to you know get control of it and then actually being able to you know get less angry do you know what i mean because I know him chick and he's pretty annoyed like he likes to tease us you've already mentioned but yeah how did you you know get to that point where it's like you barely get angry now barely okay so um yeah this is an interesting one obviously like the first thing is growing obviously and you know when you're growing you kind of change in it and the second thing is i really got um obsessed if i if i should say obsessed with philosophy and i don't know i've always been i, I feel like i found myself in philosophy so i kind of got interested and in, i was studying about specific like topics in philosophy i just watched like youtube videos on the philosophy of stoicism and just stuff like that in it it really grows you like personally you you actually grow like it actually takes you from one level to like a whole different level of humanity that you you just at a point where it's like it's hard to actually bring yourself down to the level where you get so pissed off that you do something really crazy you know i mean you still get angry but it's like it's not like before where I would get angry and you know actually take a pen and then you know stab my friend's hand in it but now obviously if I get if I'm getting angry I kind of like you know notice and then you know I'm more in control of like how I react when I'm angry so I don't do anything crazy yeah so I think one thing that helped me was like the philosophy of stoicism and yeah I'll definitely suggest that you know people actually you know get into studying philosophy and you know especially if if nothing at all at least learn about if you really want to you know control your anger i would say please if it's youtube videos just watch youtube videos about um the philosophy of stoicism and yeah i think you will enjoy it first of all and also um if you're watching this video and you're interested in you know sorting out your your anger issues or whatever i'm sure it, this is the first step to you know actually getting somewhere so get into watching philosophy videos and actually learn about the like you know the philosophy of stoicism and it will help you get your emotions under control like your emotions in check not just your anger but like maybe um, things that you get worried about so easily things that you know just take over your emotions for no reason basically so i would suggest like studying the philosophy of stoicism because that's what really helped me and obviously growing as well so i would say it's those two things that helped me you know go from getting angry and doing all that crazy stuff to you know now barely even getting angry so yeah wow that's that's really interesting that's interesting to know and that is very true because yeah it makes it makes a lot of sense now you know um but is there like any last words that you would like to tell anyone out there who you know has got like uh um issues with their anger like they get angry and you know um after you know they have their episode of anger you know they regret like what yeah. they did <laughs> yeah i've definitely got a few words for anyone who gets angry often in it what i will say is obviously um know the people that you're dealing with which is the first one and it's really important to know like who you're dealing with i think for me to obviously uh, actually be able to be friends with mchick for this long time 
you're like such an annoying person who actually annoying the shit out of you in it but the thing is i got to know him that okay he's my friend and this is how my friend is like then i got to know you know what m chick is gonna be m chick he likes to tease and that's how he plays in it so if i'm gonna be friends with m chick like i just go deal with it because i know he's not doing it to you know like to belittle me or anything like that obviously if your friend is teasing you to um actually belittle you that is bad isn't it? that's a bad friend so obviously maybe you stop you know playing with them or whatever in it but i got to know obviously my friend is not trying to do that my friend is just trying to play with me as a friend you know and actually you know have fun it's just like banter you know so i just got to know that first of all and then also uh i just i realized that um i realized what makes me angry so what makes me angry is like the thought of you know thinking that he is trying to you know like maybe disgrace me or maybe you know like um trying to take the piss out of me but then obviously i got to know that's not the case and yeah so notice what actually makes you angry yeah not just about knowing the person that makes you angry and then you know just eliminating them it could be like maybe there's something that they do specifically that makes you angry yeah so you basically address that with them like okay i don't like this maybe don't do it or if you want to work on yourself and then obviously you fight yourself and then, you know try to actually suppress that um that effect that the the thing that they do have on you you know when you familiarize yourself with the thing that actually makes you angry it's so easier to battle it because you know that okay if they do this thing it pisses me off in it so whenever they start your brain just goes like okay they are gonna piss me off so what do i do next you know so that's that's how i basically dealt with it and i think i got better with it over, over time and yeah that's that's where it's really and yeah pick your friends wisely get to know who you're dealing with and also um analyze the things that actually piss you off and know what to do when you're getting pissed off let's say someone is pissing you off like they're doing something that irritates you i the, the thing that i do is i just leave like i find an escape if I have to leave the place, I will just get up and leave. Do you know what I mean? Instead of just sitting there and then, you know, like, getting pissed off the extent where I'll do something crazy, I will just leave the place, yeah? So, let's say you start um, teasing. I don't tease people like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, I know not to tease someone because I don't like to be teased. So, when someone starts teasing, I either just exit because I know like it goes from one man and then to the other. Do you know what I mean? So when it starts, I'm I'm out. Yeah. So notice what pisses you off and then when it starts, just find an escape. Don't wait till you're angry because um, if you haven't already got your anger in control, then you're gonna do something or say something or like something uncontrollable that you're gonna do and you're gonna regret it's gonna you know it's about to happen you know so yeah find your escape and then just leave the conversation or whatever and then, yeah so that's what i've got for anyone watching who needs help with that and yeah hopefully it's helpful okay so there you have it and that is how my good friend here done it and hopefully you can also do same and get on top of your emotions and you know just live a better life because it just helps you you know you just you just live freely you don't basically let your emotions get the best of you yeah so we will end the video here and thank you for joining me by the way and it was nice speaking to you and i'm sure people people learned something from you you know so let's do this more often what yeah, yeah yeah i think i think i think we should do this more often and oh one thing one thing one thing that i want to say um if anyone that's watching this video if you've you've got like if you get angry really easily or um you're trying to get on top of your anger get in control i would like to know like some of the things that people do that piss you off so if you can put that in the comment section i'll be down in the comment section 
reading your all your comments so make sure you comment down below what are some of the things that makes you angry yeah and yeah over to you so thank you for coming in you know thank you for sharing with me your experience and how you actually dealt with your anger not because i know people might take some advice from this video and you know maybe apply it to their own lives so you know they have a better life and you know maybe be less angry you know so yeah so thank you guys for watching this video and i hope you liked it let me know what you think about this kind of videos in the comment section and hopefully we get to do more of these yeah with my good friend over here thank you for watching until i see you again next time peace out say come stand up uh, this is my genesis my nigga this is my genesis looks like a long way to go but i make sure i fulfill all my promises